Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you an incredible, incredible product that I know a lot of you are gonna need this product for your car, especially if you have a turbocharged car. Now when the company contacted me, I couldn't resist and I said to them to send it to me. They wanted to send me the cheaper version, but I wanted the higher tech version because this is gonna be a product I'm gonna be using for a very, very long time, considering we are gonna be doing a lot of turbocharged cars and we're already doing the diesels, which are turbocharged, that have a lot of vacuum leaks, that have a lot of misfires, you know, you name it, it has it. And therefore, this machine is gonna be very, very useful for what we need to do. So I don't wanna talk anymore. I'm just gonna show you the product and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how it works on the car. The car I'm gonna be using today is the M52 purely because it's a lot easier to get it into the system and actually remove the part needed to use the product. So let's get on to it. Let me tell you about the life of a trap boy really out here trying to kill it. Trapping bricks so they float like pigeons, trying to stay low like a midget, I'm really not kidding. OT trips and stinky kicks and my balls are itching, I hit up the petrol station and fill it, and I ain't stopping till this pack is finished. Too many calls I've missed. So if you can see here guys, this is the all tool smoke diagnostic leak detector. This was sent to me by the company Auto, and I will link it in the description below and I'll also pin it to the comments for you guys to go and see it. Now, this machine, this is I think a $500 machine that they sent me. This is not the cheaper version, which is $150 one, but I will link that as well for you guys to go and buy it if you don't want to obviously have the $500 one. Now, when we open up the box, you'll see probably inside, you've got a lot of equipment in there. So you've got all your instructions and everything else in there. So that's your instruction booklet. You'll also see that's your hose for obviously for the smoke itself to come out of, which will plug up. You've also got your um, power cables, which will plug up. Now, as you see, this does use a computer plug socket, but I would advise you not to try and use any other plug apart from what they give you because it will over voltage the whole system and can end up exploding you don't want that therefore stick to what they give you which connects directly up to the battery terminals to run the power you also get in here the squidgy which is used to block the intake pipe so that you can pump air into the whole system into the manifold to find where the leak is coming from you also get all these rubber bungs inside as well, which block all the tubes and intake, anything you need for all different cars. And even exhaust, you can also block off the exhausts and everything like that, that's what they use for. Um, you get them as well. You also get this, which is another section for intake piping right here. And you also get that part as well to remove any kind of grommets on the car or anything else that you might need to remove. And you plug this up to the machine directly. That's what them, uh, locking clamps are for. You also get that, which is for, as you guys can see, that's for the oil cap. You have to put, pump it into the crankcase to find smoke via the crankcase. If you've got, obviously, crankcase breathers or hoses that are um, brittle, you can put a load of air into the actual crankcase through the engine itself and find where the air, the leak's actually coming from. For instance, on a PCV system, which you know a lot of you end up getting on your M52, i.e. on your M57 as well. You can find out if your valve cover's leaking just from this. It will lock off the oil cap. You put this on and direct smoke straight in there. You also get all your other bungs as well to block off various intakes inside. That's your warranty card that you'll get for the auto. When you take this out of the box, which you'll see, we will just take that out. Now this machine is a bit big, bear in mind. So when you finally get it out of the box, this is the machine you'll be faced with. This is the $500 one. And if you can see there, you've got all different modes. This is why I wanted it. So you've got standard mode, evap mode, air switch, and obviously the smoke switch. Everything is situated properly. It also comes with a 20 mil bottle that you'll use to um, fill up your liquid. You'll see on there, it's got a big note that said it is recommended that adding 20 mils of the oil in the machine before using each time make sure you drain the machine so you always know the correct amount before you start it up constantly because a lot of people think to leave the oil in then you don't know how much is in there and then that's how you'll get mixed up and end up destroying the machine by overfilling the machine with too much oil 
So we're gonna go ahead and use this machine. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it all up. So first thing we're gonna get is this line right here, which you'll see, this is for the smoke itself. You'll see here, it's got like a um, rubber cord on it. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get this down here and you're just gonna wanna remove it from here. Then you're gonna wanna plug that straight through here. Then you're gonna wanna lock this onto here. And then you wanna push the hose onto the grommet right there. And then you just wanna lock it up. And then that's your airline secure on the actual machine itself. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just make sure everything's actually fully functional. You're gonna plug the power supply in, which is right there. And then that's all we're gonna need to set the machine up. And then what we're gonna do is now take it over to the car to be able to use it. So if you see here, everything's ready to go. We've got this to block off the intake system. We've got that, which what we'll end up doing is pushing this into here, as you'll see right there, to put the smoke through the whole system um, to check for any leaks. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So if you'll see here as well, it does come with a lot of different gear to use for the smoke machine. It comes with every single piece that you're gonna need, regardless of car, make or model. You'll be able to do all your leaks um, on the car very easily with this one device. So I'm gonna go ahead and now show you how it works. So as you'll see here guys, this is the BMW M52 engine. Now we're gonna be using the smoke machine on this particular engine. And if you'll notice, I have removed the air box from the intake tube, as well as disconnected the MAF sensor. What we're gonna go ahead and do is close off this intake pipe, firstly. So you will see, we've got this tool to close off the intake pipe. So we're just gonna shove that in there and blow it all up and pump it up until it goes rock hard so we can close off the whole intake pipe. Yep, we've now closed that off. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is connect up the machine. So if you'll see here, we've now got the machine and this is the ground wire and the positive wire. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just connect this up to the terminals itself on the car. Like that. And we're gonna get the other one. And as you see, as soon as we do that, power comes on on the machine. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull that out a bit we're just gonna to wanna to test that it's smoking. So we're gonna do the smoke switch and we just wanna test. And if you'll see right there, all the smoke's starting to come out, which is what we want. We just need to wait for it to all heat up. And we'll turn it down. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put this in here. And now we'll see if the smoke starts coming out of here. And if you can see down there, you'll see the smoke's coming out. So we have a small leak down here, probably on one of the intake tubes. You can see the smoke coming up from underneath. So that will be coming from probably the CCV pipe, which is just down there, or maybe one of the dissers but this is a very, very good tool to check for any DISA leaks, as you'll see, or as you'll see there, we've got a leak, which we're not sure where it's coming from. But what we're gonna do, is we're gonna try and take the pressure down on the machine itself. And as you'll see, that is how you detect a smoke leak. And then that's what you wanna do is just disconnect it. Now we're gonna release the pressure from the blocked intake tube, so all the smoke can evaporate from inside. But if you'll see, we had a smoke leak down there. Now, we have to be careful with this because if you have the purge valve down there, you can actually damage the spring in there. So you don't wanna to put too much smoke into the actual system itself because they've got a spring in it and you can actually damage them very badly 
by over flooding them with smoke because they think that they're overpressurized with fuel. Therefore, it will damage the whole spring inside. So that, guys, is how you'd find a smoke leak. And as you saw, the smoke was coming up from here where I had it blocked from the intake pipe, which is somewhere down here. Now, I know I don't have any vacuum leaks, so I don't have any issues with this car, but you'll notice that it worked flawlessly when we blocked off the intake pipe and it did come out from here, which I'm thinking is probably one of the seals on the CCV pipe, not properly done, but you know, it is normal on these anyway. Um, they ain't gonna withstand that kind of pressure from smoke being completely blocked off anyway. So as you'll see there guys, that is the Altel smoke leak detector. As I said, this machine is $500 and I will link the cheaper ones below. They all do the same things. If you have got vacuum leaks or any kind of leaks on your car, this is the best machine to actually possibly use. I did fill this up with actually smoke fluid, um, which I bought on Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below for you guys to go and buy it. It didn't cost much. I think it was six pound for a massive bottle, but it does the job. It's better than using baby oil, as many people seem to think they can use, which you can, but I just don't see the point in it. Where it's cheap enough to buy um, the other liquid, the proper liquid for it. Um, but you see there, it worked. And we got actually the smoke coming out of the engine, which is actually a good sign. It means it's actually working and running these checks. You see how easy it is to plug up, easy it is to use. It comes with all the tools needed. And all you ever need to do is keep this connected at all times, ready to use in case you ever need to do a smoke test. Okay guys, so there you have it. I've just run over the Autel smoke leak detector. Now, I just want to make a lot of you guys aware, this tool was actually sent to me over a month ago now, and I have been delaying doing a review due to doing other company reviews for other companies for diagnostic scanners. Now, I just want to give a big apology to the company themselves, Autel, because they have been on me and on me about when I'm going to do it, and I have delayed it for so long, and I didn't mean to, and they were actually great to me. They sent me one, I looked through their catalogue, said I wanted this one, and they didn't even hesitate to send me this machine. But as you guys saw, it does work, and I know a lot of you who have diesel cars or any kind of turbocharged car with vacuum lines, this is a must needed accessory for your car. As you see there, it does plug up to your car and it can be carried anywhere you actually want. Yes, it's a Chinese product, but as I'm gonna say to you, where do you know another company that makes a leak smoke leak detector? Please tell me where you guys know another company that actually sells one apart from them coming from China. It is a great product and you saw it actually work. And if you do have a leak on your car, this will actually find it. But you have to know at least somewhat where the leak's actually coming from, i.e. if it's coming from near your valve cover, you'll have to plug up that cap to actually find it and run the leak through there. You have to know. If you run it through the manifold, you may actually find it, but it just depends on where the actual leak's coming from. But that's why they give you all the tools to run the leak specifically on all parts of the engine to actually find where the vacuum leaks coming from on the car. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please go and click the link below to actually buy it and actually be able to run your own leak tests on your car. Thank you very much for watching. As I said to you, this product was sent to me by Autol and their products will be linked below in the description box below and also in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.